Oi lads, it's Danny here today, bring you lot a lovely video on how to prove the additive property of trig identities for sine. So sine A plus B, why is it equal to this? Let me prove it to you lot. First thing that you lot are going to need to do is you lot are going to create a triangle, right? And then a right angle triangle and on top of this right angle triangle, which you lot are going to add is another right angle triangle like this. We are then going to label all different angles that we know of this triangle of these two triangles, right? So this this angle right here is going to be called angle A, and this angle over here for the secondary triangle is going to be angle B, right? This is going to be a right angle A uh, triangle, so therefore this angle here and this angle here are 90 degree angles, right? So we are going to assume that the length from here to here is equal to 1. So the hypotenuse of this triangle, let's call it triangle B, because it's got an angle of B, is equal to 1. Therefore, we could find the missing sides of this triangle. So let's do that right away using Sokotoa. So we know that adjacent divided by hypotenuse is equal to cos of B, right? So the adjac adjacent sides this side right here and this is the side that we're interested in solving for and we know that when you take uh you see you know replace the hypotenuse is equal to one we know that the adjacent is equal to cos of b so this side over here is equal to cos of b and likewise we can do the same for this side applying so katoa so so which is s o h of this angle b right and we can basically replace the hypotenuse inside this equation and solve for the opposite side, which is equal to sine of B. So we basically initialize all these sides of this triangle. Now we're going to proceed doing the bottom triangle. You see why we had to do this, but let's get right into it then. So sine of A, right? So we're considering this angle right here, this A, a triangle. Instead, we're going to we're trying to solve for this side over here. And using Sokotoa, that's basically opposite of hypotenuse. But look, but notice the hypotenuse in this case, if we're considering triangle A, is cos of B. So therefore, we're going to replace cos of B instead, and we're going to solve for our opposite angle, uh, opposite side, I should say. Uh, sine of A times cos of B is the opposite side, so we're going to replace that into here. So the next step, once you have reached this point, what you are going to need to do is you are going to draw a line, a vertical line from here to over here straight line going like this and then from there what you are going to need to do is do a line from here intersecting this line so like like shown on the screen and what we're trying to find is basically the height from here to here basically we are interested in finding this height so from here to over here we know the height from here to here therefore we need to know the height from here to here so to do that we are basically going to use geometry. So we know that this angle here is going to be angle A. And if this angle over here is A, then therefore this angle, by consequence, has to be equal to A. So this here is going to be A. And this is a 90 degree angle, right? So to find this angle, this missing angle, right? You're going to do 90 minus this angle A, which is going to give you 90 minus A. And then you know here that this is going to be 90. So you're really going to be left with 180 minus, sorry, 90 minus 90, which is just going to be, you're just going to be left over with A basically, right? And as a result, we know that this angle here is A. And that's very important because we can find this side, the height of this side right over here. And if we're going to take this as our reference point, right, you're going to have to apply, we're trying to find this side. So this is the base of the triangle. This is the adjacent side, right? You are going to use the cos of A is equal to adjacent of hypotenuse because we're interested in solving for adjacent. Hypotenuse is equal to sine of B. So this here is the hypotenuse now, right? And very important, cos of A will be multiplied by sine of B and Therefore, you are going to have an adjacent side which is equal to cos of A sine of B as shown on your screen in front of you. So what we have done here is that we established that this height to this point over here is cos of A sine of B. And from here to here, it's sine A cos of B. So why do we have to do that? Well, we know that this height 
can also be represented. This total i from here, sorry, from here to here, could be represented by sine of a, sorry, sine of a plus b, the combination of both angles. So in that case, we found an equivalent expression, which is basically sine of a plus b is equal to sine of a, which comes from here, cos of b, plus cos of a sine of b. So they are equivalent, basically, and that's how you prove the additive property of a sine function, so a sine trig function. So if you like enjoy this video on how to solve this identity, please drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.